Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to the telephone game YouTube hub which is put on by Christy over at the Secret Not Secret Kid Club. I am number two in our team and MK who is number one sent her layout over to me. This is her layout here and I'll go ahead and scrap lift that today. Then I'll pass my layout on to person number three so you can check back tomorrow to see how that person Person number three went ahead and scrap lifted my layout without seeing the original, which was MK's. And that is how this telephone hop works. We pass our layout on to the person in front of us who then scrap lifts us until we get to the end. And it's really nice and interesting to look at all of the layouts and see how they change from layout number one all the way to the end. So here you can see in MK's, on MK's layout, she has some white space on the top left and the bottom right. And I wanted to stick really closely with her design. I love this design. This is definitely not something I would do, but I really love how it looked. And I was really challenged and excited to go ahead and scrap lift her layout. So she has two elements in the top right corner and the lower left corner of her background. And I wanted to go ahead and add that in here using a stamp. So I'm going to use this vine floral stamp with some black ink. And I'm going to stamp those two corners. And you can see once I lay my stamp down, on my background i'm just leaving it for a moment just for the ink to transfer really well to that textured white cardstock and i'll go ahead and add links to all of these items i used today down below in my description box as long as i can find them online and if not and you have any questions be sure to ask me and i will let you know what i used so here i'm gonna go ahead and stamp the second corner and then I will continue working on my background. So here I changed up the design just a tiny bit by adding a border around my white cardstock. MK did not add a border around her layout but I'm gonna go ahead and add one in now. So I'm using this pattern paper from, I believe it's Pink Paisley. I cannot remember the collection it's from, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove about a half inch off my white cardstock there on two sides only. I gutted my pattern paper and that way I can use the center part later on on the front of this layer like I am right now. So here I am going to use that pattern paper, cut about one or two strips from it because MK has a few layers behind her, her photos. So here I'm going to add in one layer using the same side of the pattern paper that I used for my mat. And then I'll go ahead and flip it over and add a strip of it on top right there. Now you can see on MK's design, she has this border strip going down between both of her photos. And I'm gonna use this border strip from the sticker sheet here and add that in right next to that black and white pattern. So you can see with the colors that I used here, they match really well with the photos and those photos are of my daughter. And those are just two random photos I took of her. She was about maybe five or six years old in these photos. So this was quite a while ago. And the colors that she's wearing is black and white with a little pink as well. So it went really well with the colors that I chose, but my layout also is gonna look really busy. So for embellishing, I kept it very, very simple. I did not wanna take away the focus from these two photos. So here I'm gonna add them to my background using some foam adhesive. And that way they're lifted off the page. And when I add my embellishments, I do add some foam adhesive behind some of them as well as you'll see. That way I'm getting some dimension and everything is not just flat on my page. So here I'm gonna use what's left of that pattern paper. So nothing is going to waste. 
and I'm gonna punch out two different sizes of circles to use on this background and you can see on MK's design she has quite a bit of circle elements on her layout now I don't think I have as many as she did but I really wanted to keep that on my layout like she has on hers so I'm going to use the front and the back of that pattern paper. I went ahead and adhered them on my background and I'm going to embellish this layout. So you can see there, I will move that sticker around. I ended up adding some foam adhesive behind it as well. And on my photos in the background, you can see my front door and there is a glare coming off of it. So I knew I wanted to go ahead and hide that part of the photo once I begin embellishing. So I'm going to add that sticker to the one on the top right, the top left corner of my layout. You can see I moved it around quite a bit there. And then I'm going to use some word phrases to hide that door on that second photo. And all of these are coming from that same collection that I used for the pattern paper. And this is fifth and Monaco collection from Pink Paisley. So now for my title, I'm gonna go in with some word phrases from a Chamel sticker sheet that I've had forever. And I have such a hard time using these stickers, I think because they're glittered and because of the color this is not a color that i use really often but it went well with the shade of green that's in the fifth and monaco collection so i was able to use three words for my title super awesome smile and i also pulled in some of these stars as well So now I wanted to add a little bit more contrast to the layout by adding in some more black and I decided to go with these circles that I have from Felicity Jane and some of these circles have black writing on a white background. Some of these have white writing or white element icon on a black background. So I decided to go with the black background instead and I'm going to add just about three of those on this layout. Now I will also pull out a little container I have with Maggie Holmes word phrases and these are chipboard pieces. They're not very sticky anymore so I just contain them all in this little container here and I'm going to add those in on the bottom left of this layout and on MK's design this is where she added her title and a little bit of journaling. Now to pull it all together I'm gonna go ahead and add in two doodly borders around my entire layout and that will be it. I did not want to add much more because as you can see this is quite busy as it is and like I said before I do not want to take the focus away from those two photos. So I hope you guys enjoy the process today. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I love reading your comments and I always try to respond as soon as I can. Be sure to come back and check out Miranda's layout tomorrow where she'll be scrap lifting my layout that I just completed. And also follow along with us for the remainder of the layouts from our team. So I hope you guys enjoyed this enough to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And I want to thank you all for watching today. Until my next video. Bye.